Hi and welcome to this tutorial on using the path tool in GIMP. The path tool in GIMP is similar to the pen tool in Adobe Photoshop. It is used to create curves like this Bezier curve here, found in vector drawing programs such as Adobe Illustrator. You can also use the paths created for various things like making selections, creating solid shapes, making line drawings, or creating text on the path. Let us start by creating a new blank image. We will select 1024 by 768. Next, select the path tool, which is this icon here. And in the tool options, you can see there are three modes, the design, edit, and move mode. We will start with the design mode. To create a path, we start by clicking in the image window. And a new anchor appears where you create. Click. Click again. And you add another anchor point and a straight path is formed between the two anchor points you can continue clicking this way to create an open path notice that the points that you have already placed appear as hollow circles except the most recent ones the next anchor point you place will continue from the most recent one To create another path that is not linked to this path, we need to press the shift key and click on the most recent point. And now we can start a new path. Let's create another path, but this time we will close the path. To do this, we need to press and hold the control key and move the mouse cursor over the starting point and click. And the path is now closed. By default, the paths are invisible. To make them visible, go to the paths dialog and click on the eye of the path and now the path is visible if you move your mouse cursor over an existing point the mouse cursor changes to uh, include a move sign on the upper right if you click and drag you can move the anchor To move two anchors together, click on one of the anchor and then press shift and click on another anchor. Now you can drag one of them and both anchors will move together. You can shift click two or more anchors to move them together in this way. Thus you can rearrange your path according to what you wish. Game allows you to undo which is to press ctrl z any path actions that you make if you have made a mistake let us now see how we can create a curved path so far we have been clicking with the path tool but not dragging the mouse let's see what happens when we click and drag the mouse let's start by creating an anchor point here and then when I click here and drag, notice that the path curves and handlebars appear where I have clicked. Next, let me click here and then continue. When you click on 
an anchor point in a curved segment, the handlebars will appear. You can drag each handle separately to adjust the curve like this. Or if you wish to adjust both handles at the same time, press and hold shift and click on one of the handlebars like this and both handlebars will be adjusted at the same time. You can also change a straight segment into a curved segment like this one here by clicking on the line and then dragging it down or up and then handlebars will appear on the sides. In the tool options, there is a polygonal checkbox. If we were to click it and enable it, we will only be able to produce straight paths. New anchors that we create will not have handles. We can only drag and move the anchors or we can drag and move the segments. If the edit radio button is checked and the polygonal button is also checked, clicking on an anchor and dragging it will move it. Clicking on the segment will allow you to add an anchor without handles. If the polygonal radio button is unchecked, clicking on an anchor and dragging it will move the handle. And clicking on the segment will add an anchor with handles and create a curved path. If you click on the move radio button, the mouse pointer is always accompanied by the move sign on the upper right. If you click on an anchor point or segment, you can move it. If you click outside of the path, you can move the whole active path. If you right click on the path layer in the path dialog, you see that you can export the path if you wish to. If you export it, notice that the heading here is export path to SVG. So this is a vector shape. Right now, I'm not going to export it, but if you export it, you can always come back here and import the path at a later stage when you need it. Let's start with a blank page. And create a new path to see what we can do further. Once we have created a path, we can stroke it and stroking is equivalent to painting on the image along the path. In order to stroke it, we can go to edit stroke path or we can right click on the path layer and select stroke path. There is also a stroke path option on the tool options. So let's click this one. 
there are various options that you can have you can stroke it with a solid color with a pattern you can change the line width and you can change the color of the stroke by clicking on the foreground color let's choose a red color and we have stroke the path let's undo this stroke by going to the undo history you can also convert a path into a selection either by clicking in the tool options here selection from path or you can right click on the path layer in the path dialog and select path to selection and you can see marching ends around the path if i were to turn off the path change to a new selection tool you can see the selection right and you can do whatever you want with the selection in fact the path tool can be used to select an object and then convert it into a selection. Finally, the path tool can also be used to create something called text on the path. I will cover this feature in another tutorial on how to use the text tool in GIMP.